Hey guys, Block Squad 1000 here, and welcome back to some more of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we got the hook shot, uh, and we beat Ingo at Lon Lon Ranch, and as a result, we now have a Pona, which allows us to get across the overworld a lot faster. Um, and we also uh, arrived at Kokiri Forest only to discover that everything was completely overrun with monsters. So, in this episode, we are going to go make it off to the next dungeon, but first of all, uh, I actually want to show you exactly what's going on here in Kokiri Forest, so, uh, uh, bomb, die, oh, whatever. Anyways, let's go inside the house, because nobody seems to be out right now. Hello there. It's the know-it-all brothers, I believe. Why is that fairy following you around? You're not one of us. Looks like they don't recognize us. I see, you didn't have any problems entering the forest, mister. Did you meanies out- did the meanies out there bother you- <laughs> Did you meanies? Alright, did the meanies out there bother you much? Before the Great Deku Tree died, you didn't see things like that around here. Since it's just dangerous- since it's dangerous outside- <laughs> Since it's dangerous outside, I always stay inside my house, but I'm bored to death in here. Okay. So it seems that they don't recognize us, and, uh, everything, like, there's monsters everywhere, so they're stuck inside. Why don't we go inside our house, because obviously, it's been seven years. Well, for us, it's been more like... Oh. You jerk, oh my... You're gonna die for that. Die! Just spam me. Okay, I'm gonna drop some useless items. Alright, yeah. I don't actually know if you can go inside your house. I believe you can, but I don't think there's really anything in here, but we can go in here just just cuz. Yep, here's our house. Uh it's kinda cool, I guess. Now, uh I guess we could go to Saria's house. Yeah, we could go to Saria's house and see what's going on with her. Because uh obviously maybe she recognizes us. This is her house, yes this is. Let's go in here. What's this? Have you been traveling around much, mister? Have you ever met a boy named Link? Mido said that the Great Deku Tree withered because that boy did something wrong to it. Only Saria defended Link until she left. Maybe we misunderstood. So Saria's gone. I don't want to know what you're doing in here, though, because, um... I mean, this is somebody else's house. Well, what, what am I to talk? I just go in other people's houses all the time because I'm Link and nobody cares, apparently. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, now we know what's going on, um... Saria's gone, so let's go look for her. Alright, so, we actually have to go into the Lost Woods. Uh, this right here, um... Y you'll see. I, I can't really go into too much detail because we'll be getting there in just a sec. So let's go back here and check it out. So, uh, this time, obviously, just follow the, uh, the paths that just have a completely black, uh, black, I don't even know what you call that, black hole, I don't know. Uh, just follow that until you find the right one. So, I believe we go this way now, and, oh, it's this jerk, it's Mido. What are you? That you wear Kokirish clothing, you can't fool me. I promise, sorry, I would never let anybody go through here. Uh, what if we pull out the ocarina? Uh, oh yeah! What if we play Saria's song? Oh. That was very bad. What is Saria's song? I actually don't even... Okay, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Stop it, Link! I get, I get, I, I... <laughs> there we go. That was very dumb. That melody? Saria plays that song all the time. You... Do you know Saria? That song. Saria taught that song only to her friends. Okay, I trust you. When I see you... I don't know why, but I remember him. Okay. Let's go this way. Uh, believe it or not, before we actually head off... Wait, did we actually plant this magic beam? Did we? I don't think we did, actually. Yeah, there's supposed to be a magic bean plant here, uh, but I guess we didn't do that seven years ago, so that sucks. <laughs> Alright, so 
wait. Oh god. Oh god. Can go this way. Okay, that's backtracking. Uh, we're on the wrong way. Uh, I guess it's this way. Jesus. Ah. Uh, I hate it when, like, I get completely lost in this place. I mean, it is called the Lost Woods, so it makes sense. Wait. Uh, okay, that's the wrong way again. Oh my god. Uh. Just go straight ahead. I don't even know at this point. Um. Turn this way. Oh boy. I don't remember it being this long, but. Whatever, I guess. Uh. Do we go this way? Yay, we did it! Okay, sweet. So this time, uh, we can actually go this way, and from here on, we'll be going through some narrow passages. If you take it slow, maybe you can sneak up on some enemies. Use Z-targeting to always look in the proper direction. Set your view so you can see down the next corridor before you turn a corner. Once, you view, once your view is set, hold down Z to sidestep through the corner. That way, you won't be surprised by an enemy waiting in ambush. Nah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go. Oh, crap! All right, these are new enemies. These are moblins. Uh, when I was younger, like um, when I first played this game, this guy's absolutely terrified me. But anyways, these guys are what you're supposed to use the hookshot on. So let's do it. Yeah, the hookshot. Oh, whoops. The hookshot can be used as a weapon. I believe I said that last episode. But yeah, that's what you have to do. Um. There's a lot of these guys. So like Navi said, you can si Oh god. Uh, you can sidestep. And- Oh god! That did not work the way I wanted it to. Okay, uh... You fool! Die! Oh god! Stupid moblins. This game- Yeah, they, uh... You just gotta wait for them to turn around and just shoot them in the back. Okay, and- Oh, whoops. Oh god. Just blink. Go! Die! Oh god, die! Uh, why do I keep doing that? Well, I, I keep pressing start to put away the uh, the hookshot, but I, I don't know what's wrong with me in this episode. I keep forgetting the controls. Alright. Oh, wait. Is that mob? Okay. So, let's do this. You did. You did. Okay. Whoa, a little slowdown there. I mean, I don't really blame it, because this is a game that came out in 1998, but just, whoa. Alright. Oh wait, this is the wrong way. Yeah, this area is sort of a maze, but you can see everything on the on the mini-map below there. I didn't really think to look down there. I don't know why, but... Yeah, that's one thing you can do. Oh god. Where's the moblin? You see right there? Wait, there isn't a moblin? Okay, I thought there was, but... Uh, oh, there he is! I see that little jerk. Little, little butthole. Oh god, oh god! Oh no, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god. Uh, I can stop it, Link. I'm not even trying to get you to go up the ledge. I wasn't even. I'm not even holding the controller. You stupid jerk. All right. All right. Just wait for him to turn around, and we'll be fine. You gonna do it? You gonna do it, buddy? This is why I like the Moblins of Wind Waker better. At least those guys. Uh, I don't even know what I'm trying to say at this point. Honestly, I don't really like these mob. The mob. The Moblin designs in Ocarina of Time. I don't really like them that much. Uh, in general, I don't really like the bulldog designs, because in some games they're designed like bulldogs, and in some they're designed like pigs. They were originally designed, like in the first game, they were bulldogs, but like, I don't really know why. I just prefer their pig versions, because... Especially the ones in, like, um... The ones in, like, Wind Waker, because they're just funny looking. Okay, up here. And we have a giant moblin. Uh, I guess this is where the Breath of the Wild moblins came from, because they have clubs. Right, we have to get behind him and shoot him in the butt. Oh, oh, or we could just... Okay. I didn't realize. Okay. Die! Oh, he's dead. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Green fire everywhere. And rupees. Nice. Lots of, lots of rupees. Okay, let's get up here, and this is the end of it. where we learn Saria's song from Saria. The flow of time is always cruel. Its speed seems different for each person, but no one can change it. 
A thing that doesn't change with time is a memory of younger days. In order to come back here again, play the Minuet of Forest. Link, I'll see you again. Okay, so that song, that song that Sheik just taught us, that is an extremely useful uh, song. You see, outside each of the dungeons that we'll be doing from now on, there is going to be a song that warps us there. That is so useful, we finally have fast travel. Boy, I'm glad. Um, if you play the menu out of forest, you'll warp right back to this point right here. And that's pretty cool. But anyways, this is a place that we came when we were younger, and Saria said that this place she believes will be very special to them someday. Well, why don't we go inside? Of course, I couldn't reach it. Why don't we go inside? Welcome to the Forest Temple. This place is an extremely beloved dungeon, and you'll see why. If you've never played this game before, you will see why this place is loved so much. So starting off here, we have some wolf let's just, let's just mess him up. Hey, buddy. Die. That was the dumbest wolf sound I've ever made in my life. Okay. All right. All right, you're dead. Okay, so starting off here, this room, um, a lot of people think this this part right here. Uh, a lot of people didn't really think to do this. During my first playthrough, this was actually the, this is the very, very first thing that I did. And uh, I was surprised to see how many people didn't really know to do this, because, I don't know, I was just... Oh, you can see that, can't you? Yep, there's a gold sculptula. So, let's get that real quick. Uh, is this our first gold sculptula as an adult? It might be. Yes, the hookshot actually one-shots them, so that's easily the best way of getting them from this point forward. Alright, so up here, we're gonna walk along this narrow ledge and jump across here. And there we go, there's a chest, and inside... We got a small key. Uh, this is a new dungeon mechanic in this game going forward. Uh... You know, um, the dungeons, the dungeons that we did as a child, uh, the puzzles were pretty straightforward and easy. In this game, there are now doors that are locked and can only be opened by finding keys. Uh, yeah, a lot of the puzzles in this game get a little bit more challenging from this point forward, and the dungeon design becomes a lot more complex. Uh, so right here, we have a Sculptula. Hello there, buddy. So, uh, let's keep going. Oh, give me your heart. All right. What's in here? <laughs> Seems that those pose just closed the elevator. That's not good. I don't like them very much. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I believe if you go up here, uh, please let me be right. Please let me be right. Uh, I am. Yes, there's another gold sculptula. I believe that there are five in this dungeon, so that's pretty good. Oh. Yeah, if you, uh, if you press the, uh, the C button again after firing it, then it'll just come right back. And often can be kind of disorienting. Anyway, so, uh, we're actually gonna go through here. Reason is because oh 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 god new enemies I believe they're new enemies at least these are bubbles they're kind of annoying uh, die die all right so yeah um 
it's so like I said, this place is very, very much beloved dungeon. I personally, I adore it. When I first played it, I kind of hated it because I just did not know what I was doing. But uh, yeah, I actually have grown to love this dungeon, and it's just so cool. Uh, specifically, the music and the atmosphere. This place is like pretty creepy, especially for like a first-time player. You wouldn't like um. One of the things that I find so cool about this game is that when you're a child, everything's so like happy-go-lucky and cute. And then when you become an adult, everything becomes, like, dark and depressing, and this place is a perfect example. It's like, this is your first challenge as an adult, and, uh, stuff's going down. So, let's go in here. And we have new enemies. These are Stalfos. Uh, remember Stall Children from Hyrule Field? These are warrior versions of them. They are pretty tough for this point in the game. Uh... They can actually block attacks. They're some of the first enemies that are actually capable of doing that. So you gotta wait for an opening, and then you just gotta jump at them. So, wait for it. Uh, yeah, um, so yeah, enemies from this point do get a lot more challenging because they're able to block attacks. Uh, and there is a lot more strategy. Oh, god, ow, ow, okay. Uh, this isn't good. Do I have, um, do I have a fairy? No, I do not. I'm just gonna drink this milk. Drink that milk! Drink the long, long milk from the gut as a kid. It's apparently still good after seven years. That's kind of weird. Uh, Alright, Z target. Thank you very much. Uh, God, I keep backflipping at the wrong times. Okay, buddy. Buddy. Okay. No, let's just put our shield out. I didn't think to do that. I never really think to do shield. I don't really know why. Uh, but yeah, it's very, very useful to use your shield, obviously. Oh. Die. Die. There we go. Buddy! How much health do you have? There we go. And they're dead. And that should give us something cool. Aw, oh, we have a heart. Alright, let's open this chest and see what it is. Check it out, it's another small key! Cool. Uh, okay, just gonna... Oh, the... oh, why didn't I pick that up in a bottle? What am I thinking? Oh, that was so dumb of me. I guess we can keep that in mind if we need a fairy in the future. Uh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, God, no! I thought I had the hook shot, and I... Oh, God. Uh... That sucks. That just sucks. Now we don't have any lawn lawn milk. I mean, at least it served its purpose, but I wish I could have used the second dose of it. Alright, so, um... Let's go over here, and... Look at this. We have another time block, so let's go ahead and play Song of Time. So as you can see, yeah, this dungeon's already turning out to be pretty complex. Um, it's not the most complex thing in the world right now. But it'll get pretty challenging. It's, um... If this is your first Zelda game, like, uh, a lot of people play this Zelda game first, because it's sort of, like, the best game to start with, in my opinion. Uh, I don't think it's the best Zelda game, but it's a good one to start with, because it's one of the most classic games in the series. But, like, yeah, if, if you've never experienced a Zelda dungeon outside of this game, uh, like, if you're a first-time player, for example, uh, then this dungeon's probably gonna stump you, like, very badly. Uh... I remember my first experience playing a Zelda dungeon in general. That was the uh, Woodfall Temple in Majora's Mask, because my first Zelda game was Majora's Mask. Uh, I got so stuck, because uh, I just did not know how to solve a Zelda dungeon. Now it's like something that's like infused into my brain, I just know how to do them at all times. Alright, so, uh... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I think we need the hookshot for this part. Hello there. Hello there, Skull Lothula, and your stupid name. And there's another one. Can we reach that? Oh god, oh god! Oh, okay. That was dumb. That was really dumb. Stop. Are you serious right now? Stop it, Link! <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I've, I've been feeling pretty sick the past week or so, and uh, I've been trying not to cough this entire episode, but like my throat's starting to hurt. Alright, we have a Skull Wolchilla here that I don't think we could actually reach before, so we're just gonna try to sneak past him and not die. I mean, we probably won't die, but... Yeah, that'll happen! Oh my god! Um... Okay, that won't work. Yeah, we're kinda screwed. Uh, we just gotta try to get past him. Um... How can we do 
do this. I actually have no clue. Uh, oh god, okay, 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 okay. Buddy, buddy, chill. Just wait for him to turn around, maybe. Okay, go, go, go. Go, 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 Okay. That was... Yeah, I should have thought to do that the first time. Alright, so, hello there, sir. Die, please. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh. oh die. Ow. Whoa. Oh. That, was, that was very weird. <laughs> All right, this gives us a, this gives I can't talk because I'm stupid. All right, this gives us a chest, so let's open that up. Uh, there we go. I think you know what this is because if you've been paying attention up to this point, you know what big chests have. It's the dungeon map. <coughs> Jesus. All right. Okay then. Um, let's go through here. And hello there, it's Deku Baba. And what's that sound I hear? Oh, it's just a skull Voltilla. Okay. I was hoping it was a gold skull Chilla, but I guess not. I haven't I, I, I still haven't really memorized this dungeon, but uh I know most of it. Okay. Stand on here. And that drains the water over there. That's noise. That's pretty noise. <coughs> Jesus. Okay, I'm trying I'm trying so hard not to cough, but it's actually so hard. Alright. Oh, oh god, it's Pit! Oh wow, so scary. Alright. Die there. Or not, I guess. There you go. There you go, buddy. Die. Thank you. Alright, so now for something totally different. Uh, you see that? We can't do anything about that just yet, but Navi is alerting us about something, so let's keep that in mind. Let's get up on this chest here. Open that, and guess what? It's a third. Oh, wait, no. It's just a recovery hurt. Okay. I thought it was a key, but yeah. Anyways, that's something you should know. You can latch onto chests. I should have mentioned that as I was doing it. <laughs> <coughs> okay. Third gold sculpture in the dungeon. There we go. Awesome. Let's keep going. Now we can finally get down this pit. And uh, after we do this next part, I think we're going to end the episode off. <laughs> Alright, more recovery hearts. I don't know why, but I just love this tunnel. It's like it's like a sewer almost, I don't even know, but it's like something so cool about it. Because like you, you can't see the end of the tunnel, so it like makes you want to figure out what's over there. Alright, so what's this? It's another chest, and it's a small chest, so small key. You had a feeling and I know it. Okay, so at this point, I think we're ready to end things off. Just gonna get up here, and so yeah, next time on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we are going to continue on in this dungeon. We're probably not gonna finish it, because <coughs> we still- <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. We still have a lot more to go, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get closer. Alright, see you guys later. God, I'm actually starting to tear up a bit from how much I'm coughing. Alright, see ya.